Kajo Keji, a South Sudanese border town located to the south of the country's capital, Juba, is now a ghost town, following unrest, which led to residents fleeing to neighboring Uganda. Reports from a refugee office in Uganda indicate that the country has been receiving an influx of up to 4,000 South Sudanese refugees every day for the past one week. We are here just uh, maintaining law and order. Few days ago, most people of Kajukeji County have run to Uganda due to insecurity happen in the area. And now, some are still coming back to collect their food, and we are here because of them. We are just guiding them in case of anything we don't want them to lose hope that the government is not able to do what he can. A week ago, a team from the United Nations Mission in South Sudan on a three-day assessment mission to Kajukeji found the town largely deserted as people continue to flee due to insecurity. The team, comprising of experts in human rights, civil affairs, gender, relief, reintegration and protection, arrived in Kajukeji on February 7th to conduct an on-the-ground assessment following clashes between the army and opposition groups. During their three days in Kajukeji, the UNMIS team said they saw armed men in the area, some in uniform and others were dressed in civilian clothing. As residents continue to flee, some have been returning to take away what they have left behind that is important. People are coming to take their food one by one. Some are fearing to come. And those who cannot uh, manage to go to refugees, they are still here. We are together with them. And uh, they are also requesting the government at least to provide security for them. A majority of those who have recently fled to Uganda are women and children, and they say their situation is difficult. They say they have witnessed fighting, shooting, looting, and even raping of women. They also say they have no water or food and are sheltering under trees. Those who have fled seem to be in the same predicament as those who remain. An appeal by the duty inspector of police is requesting for humanitarian assistance. They don't have a food, and uh, if you will come and give assist, uh, humanitarian assistance to them, I think they will uh, enjoy as others who are enjoy also in exile. But when there is no any help, indeed, the situation is going to become worse. For now. As Kajukeji, which means calves in a kraal, continues to empty out, the area, which has been traditionally known for its abundance in cattle, goats and chicken, will lack in its abundance as people move away with their belongings to neighboring Uganda due to continued insecurity.